Bimmel has arrived in the room. Bimmel is the COO of Metal Arc Media. He has lost at the grid of death, and he selected, I guess, the punishment. I don't know why he would do this, of shaving Greg Cody's back. So we are all in position now in a very cramped studio for Bimmel to begin doing that. But we've asked something dangerous of Greg Cody. This is very hard whenever we do it. It <laughs> involves multitasking and thinking of someone other than himself. Mm -hmm. He's got one microphone for him and Bimmel. He is only interested right now, even though we are doing the audio portion of this, of grinning maniacally into the camera on the Zoom. So we Not are even the camera that he needs to be looking. Yeah, at. we are relying into the wrong camera. We, you, this was so funny before we even started this. Chris Cody, uh, you were embarrassed by your dad. Mike Ryan was trying to give him instructions on how he can help Bimmel. Your father thought the entire time while not listening to Mike Ryan on the instructions for this, how do I promote my podcast? He was talking for like 45 seconds, giving my dad information that he needed to do to help produce this segment. And my dad's just doing the whole time a little dance, pointing at the mic. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm knowing, I know my dad. I'm like, he's not listening to anything Mike's saying. And then right now, before we start, he's like, what do you guys need from me? And it was just, I wanted to I mean, jump through this who needs me? soundproof who glass needs and me? punch him. In Greg's <laughs> defense, all yep, he has to do is you, get Billy. his back shaved. That's I mean, it. it's not you, rocket That should science. be his only responsibility, uh -huh. this segment. But and I thank do, you for that, by the way. Yes, thank you, Greg. Uh, but I do have, I do have confidence in Greg Cody. He is going to nail this. He heard every word Mike Ryan said to him, and Greg Cody is going to produce the hell out of this. It segment. wasn't that, right. It wasn't that many words. It just make sure that the microphone that you use it and Bim will use it at the correct time. But the problem we've already run into. He's got his headset on. He's going to have trouble getting his shirt off and talking into the microphone. So right now you're wearing a shirt, which is going to make it very hard for Bimmel to both describe your back to the audience and shave your back. Right. You want the shirt off? Well, How are we going to do this shave without your back. the shirt okay, but off? But there was some question whether the whole shirt comes off or whether we just yeah. raise the back. Ah, That's I what see. I need to well, know. Well, what would you prefer? It doesn't matter as long as he can shave your back. Like, you'd feel more comfortable. It's vulnerable to be totally shirtless. Would you prefer? It doesn't bother me. Okay, well, then let's go totally right, shirtless. That right. would be preferable. Right. Check out this belly button. Got back. It wow, we get awkward, it all. Show me your belly button. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. We also there have it is. We also have some sort of apron that you would wear to get your hair cut. A bar. Do you have back hair? I mean, I don't think so. No. Uh, okay. Well, I my back oh, in God. Years. this is. <laughs> you took your shirt off. This looks so unpleasant. <laughs> I mean, we just started the unpleasant, my friend. Uh, can you give Bimmel the microphone, please, so that he can describe what it is that he's seeing? You need to put right. your headset on, Greg, so oh, you yeah, can yeah. hear the very radio pink. show. Very pink. Uh, he is very pink. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, very comfortable with his shirtlessness. Thank you. <laughs> this is he where should be. He looks great. This is you know, visually funny. Poor Bimmel. For those following along at home, this is only number six on the top ten HR violations today. <laughs> All right, so, Bimmo, we're going to need you just to lean into the microphone, yep. which, of course, doesn't reach over there because uh, that's how I'm we do fine. things around here. I'm going to be getting very close to, to Greg's shirt. How, how much hair is back there? How much do you have to your shave? To shave? How are you feeling right now about what you've chosen from the bucket of death? I'd like to do this as a bit of a sideline interview. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is the first for me, the, the, and uh, this is probably the <laughs> peak, peak of my career of what of where You're welcome. I've been to. Uh, and uh, of all the backs I've shaved, th this is uh, it, it's, it's it's another I, I one. Like I had to describe Bimble's the rattled. terrain for, for the listeners. Does he want gloves? Yeah, do you Bimble, need do gloves? Do you like you that sweatshirt? I think this is why you get vaccinated, people. So this is, okay, he's good. vaccinated okay. and he's so, ready to go. I'm gonna put my hand on your. This on is your why you get vaccinated. So, wow, cold so, hands. For this moment, yeah. I'm pretty sure this Bimble's is not hands why are like you get ice. Put it on the poll, Guillermo at Levitard Show. This is why you get vaccinated. Yes or no? All right, we are gonna begin now. How much does he have to do? How much? What do you imagine is back there, Greg? Since you haven't seen back there very in a very he long said time. Said forty years. I mean, yeah. yeah. Bimmel's caressing his shoulder. Yeah. I'm just lucky I have a back. By the way, I feel exposed. You know what I could use right now? A Walter Mercado cape. If we had one of those in the studio, I would totally be wearing they're, it right They're now. for sale, and Greg Cody has been trying to encourage Metal Arc Media to buy a $3,000 <laughs> Walter where? Mercado oh, we need that, cape. Dan. So Wait, Dan, no, where is that? Dan, we where that. is that, Greg? Because we'll put that on the bucket of death um, next round. Put it on the I'll budget. It's more like it. <laughs> put it on Metal Arc's budget. That's of right. Death. A $3,000 a Metal Arc uh, Walter Mercado cape. All right, so where are we in the proceedings here? I do see hair. There it's is more, it's like fuzz. It's it's disgusting fuzz. It's, Thank you. It's a bit it's it's a bit puffy. 
There's there's patches. <laughs> there's see patches it. here. All right. But there's more terrain. There's some bumps. There's a bit of a constellation <laughs> yeah. with some freckles. Um, but you've got clumps of hair. You got some here on the left shoulder, mid back, uh, and on the and the right side here. So you have to shave all of the hair. Yeah. It's yeah. very unpleasant. Uh, how how is the view from where you're sitting, Jessica? You're you're a combination of bemused and on the verge of vomit. From where I'm sitting, I can't see the bottom half of Greg's body, so he just looks completely nude. Thank you. Don't let your imagination run wild. <laughs> I, I want you to all imagine him with a foot on the sink, totally nude, manscaping. Amin said he looks like a chicken breast. <laughs> <laughs> An uncooked one. I got to get more sun, by the way. <laughs> Put it on the poll camera at Levitar Show. Does Greg Cody look like an uncooked chicken breast that needs to get more sun, by the way? Uh, go ahead, Bimmel. Have at the shaving. We need the audio payoff uh, thank of you, Manscaped. hearing yeah. the Manscaped here, here, here. razor. Okay, here we go. All right. All right. We need you to turn, turn that a little razor bit. on. We and, need to get yes. video, private video of this. So you need to turn just a little bit, Greg Cody, so he could get at your back a little yeah, bit. Just, okay. Just, here we go. Here okay. we go. I'm doing left quadrant first here. Okay. Here this, we go. This this should be pretty easy. It's a lot of a lot of fuzz, a lot of peachy fuzz. Yes, you might want to look down. Ugh. This is unpleasant. So this, oh, this God. Is, there are numbers of hairs falling out there. Are, there is a, oh, there is a lot of oh, man. Few, Those are long. There's a few <laughs> pimples that are oh. probably about to pop. Yeah. Oh. It feels great. Oh, yeah. By the way, it out. feels fantastic. We are, we're going to the right like side. you're getting a it's massage? So yeah. yeah. It feels great. Yeah. A little warm, we're too, right? right? Bimmel is shoulder. very delicate. He's doing a very nice job. A very gentle manscaper. This is this is a HR violation because this is now this has now become something mildly sensual. <laughs> this is all kinds of my family will watch this soon. After we do the back, we'll do the front. <laughs> okay, right shoulder is now nice and smooth. Oh, is, God, he's uh, never been happier. He's been waiting all his I mean, a good round shoulder. Here. He's being groomed. He's going to get home and be the cleanest version. He's the cleanest version of himself. The hairs are very his long. His father gets shaven, all right? They so haven't that... been touched in 50 years. Well, <laughs> we are going up the middle of the back now. Oh, Especially wow. when he, okay. When you contrast nice, it with his complexion. Right up here. It's kind of like, you ever see Bram Stoker's Dracula and like Dracula's hairy hands? Like that okay. old Gary Oldman form. I notice all the time in sports when a coach or someone catches me off guard with how hairy their arms or the back of their hands are. This also, happened. Greg has very little boobs. Boobs are little. Bimmo, is there enough back there to shave a Greg Cody Show podcast logo onto my back? <laughs> there is there, there is not, but, no? now, but now you can definitely, if you, you could write it out here easily. What what percentage of this is done? Because this, this is some substantive Greg acreage. Leaning yeah, forward this is shirtless. Good. Now, this is upper shoulder, the upper back is done. Something. Uh, it is it is going to be a little bit wild back here on the lower back. That's okay. Uh, You're there, gonna leave that alone. He has to do lower here. back to too. Going? He's got to get the entire back. It's got to be the back. Okay. It's got to be. It's the bucket of death for a reason. So it's we're feared. Going, we're going into the. Into I feel like the, this is more of a punishment for Greg. And I'm enjoying it. Yeah, there's definitely. I could fall asleep got, right now. It's like got, a nap. You've got some, you got some terrain here. There's certainly mood some music. bumpy terrain. Uh, and there's some things here that I should wash my hands after. Maybe uh, do a biopsy while you're back okay, there. Okay, we're going low. We're going, we're we're going, going low. Not too low. We're going low. And we are riding all the way up. Oh, baby. Baby. <laughs> Okay. All right. It's almost over, almost, everybody. It's almost over. <laughs> Jessica's like, merely it, turned away it, and maybe throwing up in a bucket. Gra gravity is doing its thing right now, from what I can tell. It is pretty smooth I now. Say, it is. It's it like is, a billiard ball it back is there. Good. This is, this All right. Is, this is enough. We should shine this up. And. It's the cue ball. If the cue ball were pink and, and gravity were doing bad things at bad angles. I don't like my dad's face doing this. And that. This is fantastic. Has Bimmel has done this before. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is certainly not one. Of the, I mean, this is up there in the top five. Right, you're getting to the so. side now. We're going to stick to the back. <laughs> no, is right. Bimmel at all concerned? He's one of the front. Is <laughs> Bimmel at all concerned that inevitably, as Metal Art grows as a company, people are going to be Googling his name occasionally? <laughs> And this will very you know, likely the be hair? the first response. <laughs> Bimble just blew the hair off the Manscaped Razor. <laughs> Jesus. 